Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today I have an emergency announcement you all need to be aware of, which I'm sure most of you have already been aware of what is taking place and what's going on with the weather situation. There is one huge storm that is coming up the East Coast, and it's taking most of the country with it. And it's uh, producing snow, damaging winds, tornadoes, and everything else. What I really want to talk about is power outages, okay? If it hasn't hit your area yet, you really need to think about what are you going to do? Do you have battery banks? Are they charged? Do you have gas for your generator? In some areas, you still have a little bit of time before this hits. In other areas, it's a little too late. But we're going to talk about some things that you can do afterwards to make sure that you and your family stay safe. So stick around. So the storm is coming up the whole East Coast right up through. Uh, it's affecting everywhere from basically like Wisconsin all the way down to Florida, and it's moving north. So we all need to be prepared and ready. Like I said, you want to be checking out your whole situation and seeing, okay, am I ready? Do I have what I need? Are my battery banks charged? Do I have gas and oil for my generators? Do I have my extension cords are they accessible do i know where they are you know i mean because it's winter time in certain areas maybe you might have put stuff away or whatever now's the time to go out and find all that stuff and get it prepped and get it ready a few things to remember all right when you're using your generator use it away from your house do not and i repeat do not use your generator in your home in your garage or anything else it has to be outside your house, run the cords inside. That's why you need very long cords so you can run them in to power whatever it is that you want to power at that given situation. Your battery banks, yes, you can use those in your homes with no problem. You want to make sure that you are limiting what you use so you have enough power to get you through. Maybe you need stuff for uh, medical equipment. Maybe you need it for lights. Maybe you're going to run a small heater. Um, just make sure if you're using a heater that it is a safe heater. It's away from any curtains, any blankets, anything. Can be nothing around that thing. You don't want to have a fire. That's the last thing that you really want at this particular point time all right you want to make sure that maybe you have some way to cook having a coleman stove maybe your gas grill make sure you have gas for that because yep it's winter time and a lot of people don't barbecue during the winter so your tanks could be low or empty because you usually fill them in the spring make sure you have that kind of stuff because you can always fire up your barbecue and you can cook on it you can put a pan on it you can boil water uh, you can melt snow if you need water whatever the case may be all right. The point of it is make sure that you're going through and checking everything off and making sure that you and your family are safe throughout this storm. They are talking about winds that could succeed. I got a notification from my power company just a little while ago that they're expecting wind gusts up here in Vermont at 75 miles an hour. That's hurricane force strength. All right. These areas aren't made for this they're not you know i mean they're not used to that kind of stuff now in florida 75 miles an hour that's a gust you know i mean uh y y that's no big deal up north it's a big deal there's a lot more big trees and everything else and luckily there is well right now no leaves on the trees but those tall pine trees that could be around those could be an issue and if there is any residual basic snow or ice or anything depending on where you are with this storm that could complicate things and make things a lot worse so we all need to be thinking about what is going on with this storm as it comes up through i wanted to bring you a quick video and a reminder that you need to be ready this is why you prep this is why you are prepared just make sure that you have everything. Your flashlights are good to go, fresh batteries. You know where they're at. Position them throughout the house. Maybe if you have like little lanterns like uh, like those right up there. All right, make sure that those are good to go. You can put those throughout your house so if the power goes out, you can go around. You can open them up a little bit and you have plenty of light so you can see what you're doing. You're not fumbling around your house in the dark, tripping over something and breaking your neck. I'm just saying. Just make sure everything is ready in place throughout your home so that you and your family 
will be safe. So this was a quick little emergency video to make sure that everybody is aware and make sure that everybody is prepared. I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and you all stay safe. And until next time, I will catch all of you on the flip side.